Hello guys and welcome in. Today's topic is going to be another gold making tip all about alchemy surveys. Alchemy surveys are earned upon the completion of daily alchemy writs. Alchemy surveys will spawn six nodes of lush flowers at designated spots. Lush alchemy nodes mean that instead of one or two flowers per node, players can instead get up to 12 flowers from one harvesting node. While this is quite the boon for a raw increase in materials, these bountiful nodes are found in every type of survey, blacksmithing, jewelry, clothing, and woodworking. What sets alchemy apart is that unlike those other surveys, which always contain the same materials each time, alchemy surveys randomize which flowers you're going to get for each node. There are nine different types of flowers that can spawn from alchemy nodes. This is what we are going to take advantage of for today's gold making video. Of the flowers that do spawn for alchemy survey nodes, the most valuable is columbine, which goes for over 3000 gold per flower on PC and A. While the least valuable flower is dragonthorn, going for about 115 gold each on PC and A. This extreme difference in value between flowers is exactly what can make an alchemy survey so valuable or rather worthless. And you are going to learn about how you can ensure you get top dollar for your surveys every time you use one. So with that, let's jump into it. Once you find where your alchemy survey is located, before you touch anything, ensure that you have the champion point slottable plentiful harvest equipped. This will give you an increased chance of getting the maximum of 12 flowers per node. Next, look at the flowers that have spawned. Having a basic knowledge of which flowers are valuable and which flowers are not is going to be helpful here to determine if we want to pick any of these flowers. My rule of thumb is that I want there to be at least two nodes of columbine. But you can come up with a rule of thumb that works best for you. Just know the more confining you make the criteria, the longer it's going to take to meet. For example, finding four nodes of columbine is going to be less likely than finding two nodes of columbine. If the survey nodes in front of me do not contain two of the six nodes as columbine, I do not touch any of the nodes. Instead, what I'm going to do is walk very far away. Walking away causes the alchemy survey location despawn for you. And therefore, when we reapproach that alchemy survey location, it will re-roll what type of flowers are found at this location. At the end of the video, I'm going to go over how far I go to reset my alchemy surveys. I'm going to cover every zone's alchemy survey, except for Apocrypha, since those are alchemist satchels instead of visible flower types. So make sure to skim through those to get a feel for how far is far enough. To clarify an important part about this gold making tip, you cannot pick the flowers that you want and reset the rest. Once you pick any of the nodes in the survey, the survey is locked for every node. You either pick all of them or you reset all of them. In this example, you see I pick the two nodes of Columbine, run away to my reset location, come back, but still the four nodes I didn't touch before are still present. On another note, while you can technically keep re-rolling until every single node of your alchemy survey is columbine, this is not a good use of your time because the odds of this occurring are very low. Many players don't consider alchemy surveys to be worth their time, but I find in the matter of an hour I can get over a million gold worth of alchemy ingredients by doing this reset method and I only ever utilize around 20 alchemy surveys. 
So yes, you are spending more time to collect your surveys, but you're making sure that you're doing it in a high value way. And with that, it really is that simple to improve your profits from alchemy surveys. So now go out and smartly harvest your alchemy surveys. If you liked the video and learned something new, make sure to throw a like and subscribe if you want to make sure to not miss out on any new content. And if you want to hang out with us some more, we're live multiple days a week over on Twitch. If nothing else, thank you all so much for joining us today, and I hope to see you all again soon. For those of you interested in how far to go for each alchemy survey, let's begin that part of the video. We'll be going through the list of zones that have alchemy surveys alphabetically. Starting off in Alakir, I tend to go around this way shrine and loop back to reset my surveys. For Aradon, I tend to find the little patch of water going around this tree just east of the survey location to be far enough to reset it. For Bangkarai, the flowers are located right here by the bridge and I tend to find swimming across this little area and touching the other side of the coast is far enough to reset it. For the Blackwood Alchemy Survey, I do not actually have one of these available. But if you were to do this Alchemy Survey, this is where it would be located. I go just west, go around this big tree, and then come back to reset it. For the Cold Harbor Survey 1, that's down by the water, I tend to find it going up the hill around this tree and then back down to be far enough to cause it to reset. For the Cold Harbor Alchemy Survey 2, this one I tend to find that you have to go pretty far. I walk all the way down the road until I reach that alien ruin and then loop around that to reset it. For the Craglorn Survey, starting with Alchemy Survey 1, that's right here on this little island. I go across the road and around the tree across the road to reset this one. For Alchemy Survey 2, here in Craglorn, I tend to find going all the way around this bush into more the spell scar area causes it to reset. For the Craglorn Alchemy Survey 3, that is on this island, this one I tend to find that you have to run pretty far, going across this more shallow area, across the road and then around this rock on the far side of the road, just to the southwest. Next in Dishon, the alchemy surveys on this little island, and to reset it, I tend to just go straight west, touch the rock wall, and then come back. Next on the list, we have East March. For the East March Alchemy Survey location on this little island, I tend to find going northwest, going around that little tree or touching the rocks, is far enough to reset it. For this Alchemy Survey, which is located all the way up north of the tree, I tend to find running all the way down south, just past the tree, the big tree, is far enough to reset it. Next on the list, we have Grotwood. This Grotwood location, just north of this way shrine, which then I want to run south past the way shrine, past, past the island, and go almost all the way to the waterfall to cause it to reset. The next zone is Greenshade. For the Greenshade Alchemy location, I tend to run north of where the survey is, almost all the way up to the Dolmen. Loop around this tree right beside the Dolmen, and then come back to reset this Alchemy survey. Next, we have High Isle. For this High Isle survey, this is one of the ones I find I have to go really far to reset it, and the Alchemy locations themselves are very spread out. So for this, I run 
north with the road until the road curves, and then I have to come all the way back. Next, Mabel Tor. This one is a little tricky to find. In the first place, where you have to go through this almost delve looking location, but once you see this survey, it's actually really easy. You, you just run this southeast around these lady trees and then come back up to where the survey is to reset it. Next, we have the Northern Elsewhere survey. For this little survey location, I tend to find you don't have to run very far. Just run down south around that very tall rock and you're good to go. Next on the list, we have Reaper's March. For this Reaper's March Alchemy survey location, I tend to find going up north, touching the road, and then coming back over here is good enough to reset it. Next on the list, we have Rivenspire. For Rivenspire, right here on the beach, I tend to find it easiest to run northwest of the location across the water and touch the rocks on the northwest side to be far enough to cause it to reset. The next place is Shadowfen. For Shadowfen, I have very good luck with from the alchemy location going south to the right side of the dolmen, but not close enough to activate it, causing it to reset. Although I only had one copy of the survey here, so I couldn't get it to reset because I didn't have any more copies of the re survey. But that is how far I normally go to do that survey. Next, we have Stone Falls. For Stone Falls, this one is easy to identify in that I just go to the island just north of here. I find it's somewhere midway through the island, but just to play it safe, I go to the most northern side of the island and then come back, navigating around all the junk on that island. Next, we have Stormhaven. In Stormhaven, I go up around the way shrine and then come right back. This one, you don't have to go that far to reset. Next on the list, we have the Rift. For the Rift, I tend to find going this westward direction around this rock and then coming back to work out best for me for resetting this survey. Next on the list, we have Vardenfell. In Vardenfell, for this survey, I tend to go west and until I reach this little bit of water and then I come right back. I go straight west and then right back to reset this survey. After that, we have Western Skyrim. For the Western Skyrim survey, I go from the survey location just south just to the edge of that harrow storm and then come back. If there's an active harrow storm there, well, you might want to give it some more space. For the Rothgar Alchemy Survey 1, I tend to find going up the hill through that leaning rock is far enough to reset this alchemy survey. For the Rothgar Alchemy Survey 2, this one is a bit trickier to reset as I go up on the south side, parkour up here, but going just across this water is not far enough to reset it. Instead, you have to hop back down the rocks, run west, and then go back up the rocks to reset this alchemy survey. For the Rothgar three alchemy survey. This one is very easy to reset with just going down the hill a little bit until the road curves and then coming right back. And with that, that is how I reset all of my alchemy surveys. If you noticed, I tend to use some type of landmark to reset and remember if I've gone far enough, but not just keep mindlessly wandering. And if you especially appreciate the little extra here at the end, make sure to let me know down in the comments. Thank you all so much for sticking to the end, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!